So you've conquered Italia and Imperator Rome, but where do you go next? Do you go north into the Savage Gauls? Do you go west into the reaches of the Carthaginian Empire? Or do you go east into Illyria and Greece? Well, using today's tactic of invading Greece early, you can become extremely overpowered early game. So today I am going to show you how overpowered this can make you once you have conquered all of Greece and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Spoiler alert, it's fighting a lot of wars. <laughs> so sit back, relax and bask in the glory of Rome. Well here we are guys, back with Rome again after unifying Italy last time and taking most of Epirus as well. We had a really good time and based on your feedback from the comments guys, today we are going to be going for subduing Greece. The people of Greece were long known for their civilization, their many city-states and the many wondrous thoughts and ideas that they have inspired. After the rise of Alexander, they have been driven apart and fallen upon harsh times, mere spectres of the prominent position they once held at the center of the Mediterranean. So we are going to be getting into that that one right away we do already have claims over all of greece and this tactic guys of going for greece early is going to make us so overpowered um going through the game like we are going to become really overpowered really quickly which is amazing i'll show you why at the end so stick around for that and while you're at it like and subscribe would be massively appreciated first things first though guys we are going to burn down our aggressive expansion get our stability up slightly in the process of doing so, we are going to attack over here and potentially into Issa as well. Now, to do these missions, guys, we need to do a couple of things. First of all, we need to improve our relations with Liburnia, which we'll do once we have a bit more of a treasury. We also need to improve relations with a few of these nations over here. Potentially, we just need one just to complete this mission, so hopefully we can do that. Unfortunately, though, at the minute, most of these guys are not too happy with us mainly due to aggressive expansion so we need to tick that down to do that mission to start with and thirdly guys we need to colonize this settlement here so we need to start converting in this area as quick as possible so once we get the technology for grand theater we're going to build one over here asap so while we're waiting for our aggressive expansion to tick down guys we're going to take these little areas here uh, that should be absolutely fine not going to get too much aggressive expansion from just these two little territories. And now we can get gradual economic integration, guys. Absolutely fantastic technology that we need to start building grand theatres. We did have a couple of bad events. The cattle event. Why do we always get the cattle event? It's so annoying. Um, but yeah, the cattle event came, so we did lose a bit of money. But once we have money, we're going to build a grand theatre across here and then across our nation in our cities to start converting these population to Roman. Well, there we go, guys. Nice and easy. Let's, uh, let's come out of this war. And it's one aggressive expansion. So by banishing these guys, we're basically taking none so we're going to let this tick down a little bit so that we can do some of our missions now and we're actually going to offer athens an alliance guys basically just to get better relations with these boys so we're going to try and get really good relations with them we do need them to have above a certain amount of relations it's 15 or higher so we might be able to do that mission relatively soon and we're going to do the same for Liburnia as well. Well, that allows us to do negotiate with the Illyrians. So an emissary will be sent to Liburnia. If they don't accept our tributary status, guys, that's fine. We'll cancel the alliance and conquer them. Tech-wise, guys, now that we've got open religion and gradual economic integration, we are going to go for petition of the minorities down here, which is going to allow us to build cities absolutely for like nothing guys like 30 influence and 130 gold which is just insane and i forgot to say last time guys we're gonna go for one culture for as long as we can just roman just roman culture for as long as we can guys that is going to be integrated and um, the reason being is i don't really want to integrate too many cultures in this run it'd be fun to just see if we can just romanize the whole world and the only time i will consider it is once we get through all of the Roman traditions here um, and we have nothing else that we really want from Italic so we might integrate Macedonian at some point. So we have the chance to make Liburnia one of our tributaries. Tributaries are not fantastic but honestly we're just going to try and see what happens but of course they uh, 
they don't like it. Right, on to Greek allies as well. So we can try and make Athens a client state. Let's try. They'll probably reject it. They have rejected it obviously. <laughs> so let's dissolve that alliance. And this one. So now we can go for freedom first. I'm not bothered about the alliances we did have with Athens and Liburnia. That was literally just so that we could do these missions, because otherwise we couldn't do them. Um, so we have dissolved them, but that's fine. And after moving a lot of pops around, we can now colonize Acruvium over here, which is absolutely fantastic. I did not expect us to be able to do that so quickly. Whew. That, that, is a, that is a lot of time saved. And now we can get island foothold as well, which is fantastic. Right then, on to war with Issa. We literally only need to take up to Ryzon for our missions, but of course, we're going to take it all. The thing is as well with Issa, guys, they are a Greek uh, Hellenic faction, which is absolutely fantastic for us because hopefully they will have converted some of this pops at least to Hellenic. Well, there we go. The Siege of Issa is done. I don't even know whether we fought any battles in that war. I don't think we did. But um, <laughs> let's do that. And let's also banish. We now have enough aggressive expansion, low aggressive expansion for us to start looking at Greece, especially now that the Antigonids have a revolt. That is fantastic. And there's Protect the Adriatic, which allows us to build a Colonia. Let's go with one that doesn't have a city, which is actually um, the all of them apart from Apollonia. So let's go for Lissus. And there's also Foothold in Illyria, which again allows us to do Apollonia. But uh, we can get seven in Dirachium as well, which is pretty fantastic. And I've just queued up another 30 light ships, guys, because we're going to need it when we fight these guys. It's such a mess over here. Honestly, like Greece in this run is another bad RNG for us because like some of these nations are tiny. Normally they have lots more population than this, but we are going to get a lot of cities. So um, that of course is good. And that now allows us to get Eastern Strike Fleet. Navy movement speed and maintenance cost for 120 months. Pretty darn good. Well then, I think our first target is going to be Akarnania over here. And Braki is going to come in. Macedon is going to come in. And that's all that's left of Macedon, guys. <laughs> like, that is the saddest Macedon I've ever seen. Uh, but also Athens and Pelene over here as well. We might... Just ignore Athens and Pelene for now and try and get onto the Peloponnese rather quickly. Let's uh, peace out Pelene over here, guys. Nice and easy. We're also going to banish because we need as low aggressive expansion as possible uh, once we're taking the rest of this. So let's peace out Macedon. We will get all of this land up here, which is... Uh, it's okay. It's not, not the greatest province ever. It's it's not terrible, but it's, it's not amazing. Um, either. We're also going to peace out uh, Athens as well, and then we're just going to get into this mess. <laughs> like, oh, that's going to be interesting. We're also going to obviously have to fight the Antigonid Kingdom, so I am saving a bit of a war chest. So let's get some mercenaries in readiness for that. Also, we need to get rid of some of that war exhaustion at some point, but uh, <laughs> we're not going to be able to do that for a little while. Right then, let's uh, peace out. We're just going to peace out all together and get everything that we can. Nice. And we're going to banish as well. So let's move on to Cleator over here, guys, because they are allied with the Antigonid Revolt rather than the Antigonid Kingdom, which is a nice way to get around that problem. So let's go. And we're basically at war with the whole of the Peloponnese, so that's fine. <laughs> and we actually got pushed back, which is um, pretty surprising, but it looks like our mercenaries are going to be able to push them back themselves. So that's quite good. Oh my god, the amount of forts in this region is just mind-blowing. Like, <laughs> look at the forts. We're going to stage down all of these. Oh, this is the pain of taking the Peloponnese. <laughs> Once you've taken it, though, amazing, amazing. We're also letting the looting be gentle in all of these places because this area has already been very ravaged and I want to keep as much of the population as possible. For our next tradition, let's go with Roman roads, my friends. Allows us to build much cheaper roads, gives us more army movement speed, and three innovations, which is fantastic because that is going to take us... Um, all the way to petition of the minorities here. And then what we're going to do, we are going to go for some siege towers, some Scorpio, and some siege ramps as well with our next innovations. That's our first piece out, guys, for Achaia and Arcadia. So let's get rid of them. That's going to help us out 
dramatically. We need to get a bit more food, though. Please give us some food. <laughs> right, let's get Megalopolis out of this war as well. We shall uh, keep Sparta all happy and everything as well. Next, we have Herea, guys, which is going. And there's Tegea. And there is Siege Ramps, plus 5%. Siege ability, very, very nice indeed. There's Mercedes, fantastic. Another goddamn few sieges to go, guys. <laughs> and Mantinea as well. And there's Cletor. Unfortunately, it's very, very unfortunate, but this city became uncolonized, I believe. So, ah, uh, what can you do? What can you do? And now we have most of the Peloponnese. I am going to clean up all of these forts, guys, because we are losing so much money now from all of the forts. Um, and then we're just going to carry on warring. We have a lot of war exhaustion, but honestly, guys, we've got max. It doesn't matter. We've not got much aggressive expansion, so we might as well carry on. So let's carry on. Let's invade Ellis as well. That should be very nice for us. And this is why I've not been showing the wars, guys, because this is literally how every war has gone. We just sit on the fort, seize the fort down. War done. <laughs> like, that's literally it. <laughs> and in terms of our technology now, we are just going to uh, start getting a few oratory techs, try and get our conversion speed a bit faster, try and make our population a little bit happier too. <laughs> and there we go. Next war is over, guys, before we could even peace out people separately. So that's rather nice. And isn't the Peloponnese looking rather Tasty. That is a spicy meatball for us there. Well, boys, time for a big one. We are going to be fighting the Antigonid Kingdom for Eperos from Umbrakia. And of course, we're going to take as much land as we can from the Antigonid Kingdom over here. This is going to be interesting. I've hired another mercenary company. So, yeah, uh, like I say, we can't get um, any more <laughs> war exhaustion than we already have. So we might as well keep on fighting and get as much land as possible. Oh, and I did miss this, guys. This is a monstrous battle. So we're going to bring our levies here as well. I think the these guys are going to lose, unfortunately. Let's just watch. It's very, very close. They have war elephants. Fair play. Fair play. But uh, let's see. It looks like we did lose, but maybe we can catch them. There we go. We did catch them this time. Let's hope that we beat them. Looks like we're going to lose that as well. Ooh, so their armies are just a little bit better than ours, I would say, at the moment. And the sprites have gone on some of the people, so <laughs> it's going to be fun to try and find out where they're going. <laughs> oh, there we go. It reappeared. It reappeared. Here we go. Another big battle. We are starting to win the battles, my friends, which, of course, is good. A lot of their troops are trapped in this area because this fort here... Um, just blocks off them from getting past, which is very, very good for us. Look at the amount of armies over here. It's just absolute chaos. Oh, apparently, apparently we're going to lose this, but let's see. Oh, we, okay, they, they escaped. Um, but yeah, it's just chaos over here. So we're going to just try and guard this area, basically. I'm going to also swap out for a new deity of war for the deity of Mars. We get extra discipline when we take this. Obviously, we can't take it just yet, but that's fine. And the Nessiotic League has a level 3 fort over here. <laughs> Please, guys, why? Why? Why do this? And here is a crucial battle, my friends. Let's see how we do. Looks like we're losing... We might win in the end, though. No, we lost again. Wow. I think it's... um, Yeah, we've got a lot of heavy infantry. Maybe I need to set up this army a little bit better. Well, guys, I think it's time to get out of this war. We're starting to lose a few battles. They've just summoned from the depths of hell, like, so many troops. Like, a lot, a lot of troops. So I'm assuming they're getting a lot of mercenaries. And I don't want to just destroy our nation over this singular war. So... I think we take what we can get, take the areas that we need the need for the missions, um, and then we can focus on some of these other people like Boeotia, Thebes, all that sort of thing. So there we go. That allows us to get the Ionian coast, which is fantastic. What should we go for? I'm assuming Pasarum would be the best. Yeah, the Pasarum up in the mountains. And we just got Princapes, guys, which is amazing. Heavy injury, infantry offense plus 15% pretty darn nice. Well, let's go for Elatea here, hoping Boeisha doesn't bring in the Antigonid Kingdom, but 
Let's, let's find out, guys. There's only one way to find out. And I've got to say, the mercenaries that we did get have been absolutely terrible. They have not done well in battles at all. So, um, yeah, we probably are going to get rid of at least this one. Well, there we go. Full 100% war score, my friends. So, let's get the rest of this. We're also going to imprison. I am going to sell a lot of our prisoners soon because we have no tyranny. And then we'll just basically do it every time we get to 10. Let it drop down, then do it again. We'll get rid of this other mercenary company as well. And then I'm also going to get rid of most of the levies apart from the Italian ones. And the final thing we're going to do is go for Macedon here and the Ptolemaic Revolt, which is absolutely perfect for us. And let's go for the Ptolemaic Revolt here. They have no allies at the moment. And as we can see, they don't have much coastal land, so I don't think that they'll be uh, attacking us anytime soon. And we're also going to take out the remnants of Macedon. Well, there we go. Macedon finally lets out its last gasp, my friends. Let's get rid of them. We're just going to banish on this one. And there goes the Ptolemaic Revolt as well. Well, I think we've done a relatively good job of taking most of Greece here, as you can see. We just haven't quite got enough for some of the missions. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to let our war exhaustion tick down, guys. And then we're going to go for a, another massive war against the Antigonid Kingdom. This time, let's hope we can win. They have a lot less subjects. So it should be quite good. So we're going to take two incredibly good decisions. Expanding the campus marshes, manpower recovery speed, and cohort starting experience. Just overall, that's pretty amazing. Let's go. And then we're going to also institute Corinth as local capital, which gives four citizen pops with the state culture and religion. So for us, of course, that is Hellenic Roman as well, and four freeman pops and a granary. So um, that's really going to help out with our conversion um, around this area. And now, because of that, we can actually colonize over here. So we need to colonize both of those and that one. So once we've got a few more Roman pops, I will have a look at moving a few around. And there goes Troizen as well. Very nice. We've just taken theological colleges as well. 150% research efficiency. How far ahead of time are we? We're already 48 years ahead of time, so... I think TechWise was doing quite well. <laughs> we just got this amazing agenda from the Boney, like 150 gold, and we get two marketplaces and a library and 20 approval. That is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Come on. Well then, guys, we have 70 stability. Uh, we have no aggressive expansion, and our war exhaustion is not great. It's it's at 10. <laughs> um but I think it's time again. I think it's time again. So uh, let's get ready. And we just killed a large fleet of pirates. So that gave us like 30 ships. <laughs> Thank Thanks pirates for just running into us. That's great. <laughs> well, boys, it's time for round two. We're going to try and take a Bowie because, uh, of course, that is a lot easier to keep hold of than Larissa or anything like that. So let's go for that. Round two with the boys. Let's go. And that is... Interesting, Carthage. Very, very interesting. Not great, but it's interesting. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's just going to have to be done, unfortunately. I mean, it's going to cost us a lot of money to defend over here, but let's see whether we can go fast with this war to start with. So now we are fighting on two completely different fronts. Um... Yeah, honestly, against Carthage, the main aim is just to stop them getting anywhere near the war goal. We're losing 20 a month now from army maintenance, so we need to get a move on, and we're going to have to sack some cities. Ooh, and they do have a lot of troops over here now, and unfortunately, all of the sprites are gone. There they go. They've come back, so that's good. Let's see if we can get a good start against these guys. But we're just so split up now, it's really, really hard to tell, like, where's best... Uh, to focus attention <laughs> right now. <laughs> and we just won a huge battle over here. That is going to be so, so helpful. We're also doing okay over this way. Like, not amazing, but okay. And I... I oh, come on, Carthage, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> this is just stupid. And another huge battle. But unfortunately, I think we are going to lose that one. So let's retreat out of this area. 
Um, like, like I say, we don't need to take every single thing again from this, but we basically just want to take the region of Greece. So it would be all of this area, basically. So all of this, these islands is the main thing. Oh, and we just are going to beat a huge Carthaginian force that was double our size. I mean, as soon as Carthage is ready to go, I mean, actually 23, how close would they be to a white piece? Like, so close. So, yeah, I mean, just over here, it's it's just a mess. That's that's the problem. So let's try and wipe a few stacks here if we can. That was huge. Come on, we've got both of the mercenary companies linked together, ready to absolutely smash them. Come on, boys. Please don't let them run away. Please don't let them run away. Come on, boys. We need to catch them. We need to push them back. Here's another massive battle. This is 24,000 versus 29. So let's see how we do. Okay, we, we are starting to win battles now and hopefully push these guys back. It's these tiny little stacks of like 500 that are just incredibly annoying. <laughs> oh, looks like we might be on for a stack wipe here if I'd had a few... If I'd had both of the armies together. No, why did I split them up? Oh, well, we're not going to lose. That's the main thing, but that was dumb on my part. Well, Carthage are on minus one. So I am thinking about getting this extra mercenary company, like literally minus one. We just need to occupy a couple more things. Unfortunately now though, they have actually brought some people. So yeah, maybe we just need to, to take one or two extra areas and we'll be good. I mean, this is not good, but uh, <laughs> there's, there's really not much we can do about it, guys. <laughs> so not with our current funds. Where are half of their troops coming from? They have got so many troops. They just keep coming back and back and back and back. It's so annoying. Oh, come on, Carthage, please. Oh, they're at medium. Right. Well, I think we just have to take this, guys. Like, I don't think we can take anything. We could take one single prov single territory. Take two territories. Uh, let's take two territories just to be like, hey. <laughs> Oh, Carthage, Carthage, Carthage. You you nasty, nasty men. And here come the hordes once again. Just every time we leave this province, loads of troops come. Wow. <laughs> like, we just need to go and kill, like, a load of these guys. Basically stack wipe them. Oh, wrong way. How have you only down to 1,000? Oof, that is rough. That is rough. Oh, and we finally took the level 3 fort. We've been waiting to do that for some time, my friends. And we just got a horror event where we lost 300 gold. No. Oh, guys, 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 guys. And we don't have Megara siege down at the moment. That is just horror. And once again, Amphipolis has been sieged down. Great. Oh, Sometimes the warfare just drives you crazy in this game. Oh, my God. Oh, we took Megara again. Come on, guys. Ah, this is... We, oh, we've not got enough troops to fight that. Ah, this is just painful, 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 painful. It's just all the little stacks. <laughs> just fuck off. <laughs> just fuck off, please. <laughs> Please. And now we just need to rush down, getting all the provinces that we want. Uh, and then I think we're just going to go for the peace deal, guys. Like, please let us get through here and take what we want. We just want this, this singular one. And Abrocchi is lost as well now. Great. <laughs> well, guys, let's see what we can do in the peace deal. We're going to take all of that. That's 45. Megara is 19. That is absolutely insane like <laughs> that's crazy that is it's just insane <laughs> well this is what we can currently do guys um so it takes the level three fort which is something that we wanted to do it takes all of uh, euboea or evia it takes the rem remnants of attica and we also get up into macedon so I think that's a good result from having Carthage attackers as well. Um, so, yeah, it's only seven aggressive expansion. We're making no aggressive expansion because we have claims on all of this region. 
Uh, but yeah, hopefully the Antigonids will collapse a little bit before our next big fight with them because we're going to have to fight them again. <laughs> so let's go for it. And we're going to keep the home of Alexander nice and proud, the city of Pella as well. Oh, and doesn't that look fantastic, my friends? We are the masters of this area. Now we can colonize at Stim Phalos, guys. Oh. It's taken so long, but finally we're there. We are not done with war, however, my friends. We are going to take Crete as well. It's a nice little sounding off stage for us here. So we're going to drop onto Crete. And we're also going to have a go into the north as well and take Paonia and all of this land. Then we're going to go after Carvia here just to do some of our northern sweep missions as well. And we've sieged down that monstrous fort on Crete at Kaidonia. So let's see how we do in the battle against them. I think our troops are just generally lacking slightly, which is why I've tried to focus on a few more military techs. But... um. Overall, I think we're still doing fine. And there we go. We've just sold everyone into slavery that we could. Only eight tyranny for it. And we just got about 200 gold, which is pretty darn nice. <laughs> I don't think we need this fort on Crete anymore, do we, guys? And these boys in the north have so many forts. Like, <laughs> why do you have so many forts, bro? Please. <laughs> I have another forts after all this down here. <laughs> Please. And the boys in the north have been dealt with. Very nice indeed. Uh, the only issue is, again, we've got an uncolonized province here, which, oh, these uncolonized provinces, not good, not good. <laughs> we are just going to move straight onto these boys here, and hopefully we can do something about that uncolonized province at some point. Lissus does have a decent amount of Romans in this whole province over here, so I'm hoping we can chain them along and colonize that. And if you're wondering why I'm not spending my money, guys, it's because, of course, we still need to have another war against the Antigonid Kingdom. Luckily, they're in a revolt, though, now, which is awesome. So when does our truce expire with them? In three years, we can get rid of our truce. Li li nearly exactly three years. So, yeah, we'll probably get rid of our levies. We'll bring them back up. Uh, let them have a rest and uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. So let's go for this war in the north here to take Dalmatia. Should be nice and easy, but uh, we'll find out, I guess. And let's also go for a cheeky war with Andros. It is going to bring in the Ptolemies. So it could be another massive war, but um, I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping we can just take Andros and just leave them to it. And there we have it. All of the land in the north. Ours now, which is fantastic. I am just basically chilling over here just seeing if the Ptolemies are going to do anything um it's unlikely that they're going to peace out at the moment but we do have ticking war score so um we're basically just banking on them doing nothing but just look at the Ptolemies though they are very strong they're going to be a hard enemy to fight going on in the campaign oh my days a 17 17 I mean I have a scorned family and I should technically put him in this uh, one-eyed man, but 17. Oh, that is, that is lovely. That is lovely. And now let's get Triarii. We are making our way through these rather quickly, aren't we, my friends? And after much moving of people, we can now colonize this. Oh, that is fantastic. And the Ptolemies actually have landed on Sicily. So, <laughs> cool Ptolemies. I mean, it's just another way for us to get you out of this war. <laughs> and we stack wipe them. And now they would accept. Fantastic. Let's get that in there. Absolutely awesome. Very nice indeed. And I've just spotted what might be considered a rather nice opportunity. <laughs> Let's go and have a go at them. Also, the Adrissians. Thank you, Adrissians, for having the last singular piece of land that we need for that mission for this area. So we're going to have to fight them as well. Great. Well, we can't ignore this opportunity, my friends. So we are going to go for it. I'm just going to try and rush as much land as possible from the Antigonid Revolt. And then we'll just fight the Antigonids again. <laughs> the third time in a row. That's fantastic. And there we go. We have 70 war score against these boys. So I think we're just going to try and take as much land as humanly possible in this peace deal. I think that's fine. That's nice. It sort of uh, fits our area very, very well. So uh, let's go with that. The city, of course, of Lysomachia will remain unscathed as well. Like we've done with all our cities. We are very nice to our people. 
We just want them to be Roman. <laughs> and finally, that allows us to do a mission. Oh my days, it's been so long, hasn't it, my friends? Once a backwater province, Macedonia rose to prominence under Philip II and Alexander the Great. As the home of the conquerors of the known world, finally the region has fallen to our troops and we can secure the last remains of the once great empire. Whichever gives us more, which is Pella. Fantastic. And let's also embellish the temple of Jupiter Optimus Maximus, my friends. 10 approval with the bony, 10% omen power and 2.5% discipline. Very nice. And now it's finally time to fully banish the Antigonid kingdom. Come on, boys. Let's go. And basically what I'm going to do is just blockade this straight. I'm not bothered about actually... I mean, it'd be nice to maybe take, say, a little foothold in Anatolia for now. But I'm not bothered about huge swathes of Anatolia at all. Well, I can't really be bothered to wait for them to siege back the last province of their revolt. So we're just going to take this, guys. And then we're going to do one final war against Adrissia. And then we should be able to do all of our missions. Wow, wow. It's been a journey. It's been a lot of time in-game, but trust me, we are going to be so OP after this. This was definitely worth it early game. And now we can do probably quite a lot of missions. We can do Home of Civilization, which, uh, of course, we can get a col colony in here. Seven pops in Delphi. Absolutely. Let's take that. We'll also take... Uh, liberate Greece, which gave us some good modifiers, I'm sure. I thought there was going to be a pop-up, but obviously not. And then we can get Peloponnesian uh, campaign as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Which one is going to give us the most? We don't want any more cities in this region. We already have so many. Let's go for Argos, of course. And then we're also going to go for integration as well. Every province in the region of Greece gains the modifier Greek integration. Pop conversion speed and pop assimilation speed. Conversion speed is not amazing, but uh, because it's all Hellenic anyway. <laughs> uh, but the assimilation speed is fantastic. Let's now... Uh, no, no, we're not going to finish. We're going to take Northern Sweep as well <laughs> when we when we fight the Adrissians. And now we can get cohorts, which should allow us to get Marian reforms. We might take that in a little while, or maybe the um, the government might give that to us for free as well, which would be amazing. So, time to attack the Adrissians, my friends. Whew, this has been a long journey, but this is the final war. And finally, maybe our men can go home and we can get a little bit of stability. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. The final war in this little part of the campaign. We've just gone over uh, 50, but that's fine. Let's take Northern Sweep. And either way, it's going to create a city. We'll go Scoopy because it sounds funny. <laughs> and there we go. Next time, guys, we very much will likely take... Uh, the first provincia but if you want to see anything else do comment that down below as well that would be amazing and remember guys if you did like the video a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated levies you can go home well done you've done so well for us <laughs> oh war war is kind of over <laughs> for a little while <laughs> so now guys i'm gonna go through clean up this whole area look how glorious we look on the map absolutely glorious roman greece is bigger than roman italy <laughs> right now but it's still absolutely glorious isn't it so i'm gonna go through clean up all of these areas remove a load of the forts because we really don't need them down like especially down here now like we don't need these forts some across here and in the north is fine but most of these can go. I'm going to change all the governor policies. And then I'm also going to start building in these regions grand theatres. We don't need great temples because everywhere is pretty much Hellenic. So we'll build grand theatres so that we can convert the population. Well, we've built a few grand theatres throughout the land. And we have now conquered all of Greece and Macedonia. And I'm just going to show you, like, how powerful we have become now from doing this tactic, like I promised at the start. How powerful are we now versus what we started with? Well, we started with about 2,400 population. Now we have 5,800. We have doubled in size. We started with 186 territories. We now have 455. So we have more than doubled in the amount of territories um, we have. And we were making about 12 income with the same as what I have now. Low 
on everything uh, that is costing us money. Obviously, the, the army's not at the moment. But uh, yeah, we were making about 12, and now we're making 33 because we have taken so many cities. Like, there's a lot of cities in Italia, but Greece... And this is even a low amount of cities for Greece as well. Normally, like, Sparta would be um, a city um, as well. Um, normally, maybe one of these would be a city. Patrai, something like that. Maybe there'd be a city in here. So, yeah, we've taken so many cities. It is absolutely glorious. That is how powerful we have now become. If we have a look at our cultures, there are now over a thousand pops that are Roman, and we are going to start absolutely making loads of Romans over here once we've built those grand theatres in this whole region. This is going to be a powerhouse for us for the rest of the game, which is what we're going to aim for. And we started with about 1,600 Hellenic Pops. Now we have 4,500, basically. So that is amazing because that's going to mean these areas are a lot happier than other areas that we would conquer that aren't the right religion, that aren't the right culture. Obviously, none of these are the right culture, but they are the right religion, which is fantastic. But I think we're going to end it there, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I'll see you all again on the next video. And once again, massive thank you to the channel members, David, Pascal, and Kawi Psycho. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. If you are interested in supporting the channel, you can do so down below in the description for as little as $1 a month.